I bought this rather hideous Noel sign in the after Christmas sales at Poundland a few years ago. Now the Joy version of this sign was reviewed by Big Clive and he found that these were so unpopular that in the after Christmas sales lots of these were left over. I want to see if I can improve this by removing all of the warm white LEDs and replacing them with something a bit more dynamic. Now there are not enough holes here for the LEDs I want to use so I'll be drilling a few new ones and also widening the existing holes. So the set of LEDs I'd like to use are from Pound World, uh, a Christmas, deco uh, Christmas LED lights from Pound World. Uh, Pound World closed down a few years ago so these are rather an old set and in order to drive them I'll be using these Meteor shower lights. I want to use the microcontroller and PCB and this will save me from having to program anything because the microcontroller already has an animation programmed into it. Just have to put some fresh solder on these LEDs that are in the PCB, give it a bit of a wiggle and those LEDs pop right out. And now I can cut some LEDs off, the red LEDs off with a length of wire that is tinned and I could solder them into the PCB where those LEDs had just been removed. And there it is with all 10 of the red LEDs now being driven by the Meteor shower light microcontroller. I'm testing this by just uh, powering it from one of those power banks. And here I'm placing in the red LEDs into the holes that were widened or freshly drilled in the sign. This is what it looks like from the front with the LEDs glued into position. Now it does has improved it just a bit but it still doesn't look all that good so I'm going to cut out in cardboard a mask of the sign. It's silvered on the back so the idea is that it will reflect and diffuse the light towards the edges so that the dynamically animated LED will now silhouette the sign. This is what it looks like in subdued lighting. Now to handle the powering of the microcontroller I'm going to solder on a JST battery connector. I've cut the backing so that I can remove the existing battery holder. That was just two AAA batteries which is insufficient to power the microcontroller on the Meteor shower light. And with some double sticky back tape I'll be putting a, a, a rather rudimentary battery holder so that I can just slip in a lithium polymer battery. Now, this is a power hit that I've hacked so that it could be recharged so it's no longer a disposable power hit. And this is what it looks like from the front when the battery is all plugged in. And again in more subdued lighting this is the completed sign using that is reusing an old decoration from years ago and meteor shower light animating the silhouetted uh, Noel. Merry Christmas!